welcome back to the Toppy Blues, your source for all things Everton. I'm Connor Williams, and we're back with another one of our 24-7 um, news videos. Uh, we start with our headline news, as always, and uh, the headline news today is that Tottenham are growing in confidence that they can sign a deal uh, to sign Richarlison. Spurs have tried to tempt Everton into taking players such as Steven Bergwijn and Lucas Moura as part of the deal, as well as Everton's interest in signing Harry Winks on loan. That's come from Matt Law of the Daily Telegraph. Um, he goes on to add, Tottenham could bring down Everton's 50 million plus asking fee by writing off add-ons they agreed as part of Delhi Ali's free transfer from January. Everton are due to pay Spurs 10 million once he's made 20 appearances, as well as other performance-related add-ons. That again has come from that law um, from the Daily Telegraph. Um, there is some other uh, Tottenham news that we'll get into um, as well. Um, and then I'll talk about the whole uh, thing. Um, I'll just talk about Delhi Ali first because the rest of it goes on to mention some other stuff. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, glad we're not taking Stephen Bergwijn and Lucas Mora as part of it. I think we just need money. Um, not surprised that they've tried to lower it by offering us players they don't want. Like I said in yesterday's video, Daniel Levy's a very astute businessman. Um, this Deli Ali transfer, oh, wasn't a fan of it to start with. Still not a massive fan of it. I know he's got some fans. Um, he's yet to make me a fan. I, not that I, I don't dislike the fella. Um, I just think he's got a lot of proving to do. Um, I watched the Tottenham documentary and he didn't exactly shine there. Mourinho coming in going, I know you don't train well. And then, then there was reports the other day, wasn't there, from um, an account on Twitter, which I'm taking with a massive pinch of salt, um, that, he, that he hasn't impressed in training. And I, like I said, I'm taking it with a pinch of salt because I don't think this fella that tweeted it out, can't remember the name, I don't think he sits there on the training ground at Finch Farm and watches him. But, there is some substance, even if that was just a rumour, there is substance to believe it because of previous things. Um, but like I was saying, yeah, wasn't a fan at the time. Didn't think it'd come back to bite us like this. Um, hopefully we don't do that. Just pay them the 10 million when he does performance and the, the other performance bonuses when and if he completes them. Um, there were rumours potentially maybe Deli out. The club would try and see Deli Ali out. I don't think they will. I think they'll stick with him. But um, so we'll have to pay that 10 million regardless. But the other ones, he might never reach them in Everton. I don't know what they are. Um, you know, it could be like score 10 goals. Maybe he will. Maybe he won't. You don't know how long he's going to be here. Just pay them when they happen. Don't don't go silly and think, I'll save a bit of money now and pay them. Um, you know, saying, oh, it's qualified for the Champions League, 10 million. Don't be paying that now. That That's a very long time away. If it's get 10 goals, um, I wouldn't even pay that now. I, I don't think he'll get 10 goals next season. Um, so don't be paying that now either. Um, just pay them when they come, sort of thing. Um, but definitely don't use it as Richarlison. This is Daniel Levy being very Daniel Levy, trying to save every bit of money that he can. Um, and it's very, very clever. Um, like, like I said, when we got Deli Ali as well, Daniel Levy doesn't give him away for nothing. It, it, this deal, everyone was like, oh, Cam Wright's had his pants down there, hasn't he? No, no, I, I think Daniel Levy's probably had his down. Um, actually, um, you know, this is an anti chem right? But Daniel Levy, I 100% believe, is a better businessman than Bill Kenwright um, and a better negotiator. Uh, keeping with Spurs again, we have that Tottenham are progressing their talks with Everton's with Charleston. Negotiations are well advanced on personal terms. Discuss it, uh, discussions between the clubs will continue this week. Uh, Harry Winks has also been part of the talk. Structure of a deal not yet agreed. That came from Fabrizio Romano. Um, then Sky Sports added up with Tottenham are offering Everton, wing, Everton um, winger Stephen Bergwijn um, as they are frustrated with Ajax not offering enough. Um, and then The Athletic said, if Stephen Bergwijn was to join Everton, it would be a separate deal to Richarlison. Um, transfer Ajax are still pushing to sign the winger however if the deal drags Bergwijn will consider staying in the UK that's come from the Athletic we'll break down these three bits of news now I don't want Harry Winks anywhere near the Richarlison deal let's just get him on loan and that's enough don't get him involved in the Richarlison deal I have a horrible feeling we're going to get 
absolutely ripped here by Levy and Co. I just absolutely am certain of it. Um, apparently, we are sticking to our guns of no, we want the cash for Richarlison, and I hope we do really nail down with that because I don't want Harry Winks as part of it. We need that money to invest in his replacement, and we're not going to stick Harry Winks left wing or up front, are we? Um, I also personally am not a fan of Harry Winks. I think we've got one too many of his style of player. Um, next, we've got the Tottenham, uh, the Tottenham and Bergwijn stuff as well. I, I mean, I don't know about Bergwijn. I don't know his stats, goals, and assists aren't brilliant. Doesn't get a lot of chance though at Spurs because he has to play behind Young and Son, and he's not getting in there. Um, I thought he was a good player when he signed. I, I do believe it's some of it has, he hasn't got a chance, but the chances he has got um, the season before, he played a lot more minutes. Um, and his goals to and assists aren't brilliant. Don't get me wrong, that's not all you should judge a winger for. There are other stats that are worth judging him on. But I think they're a fair, fair stat to add into the mix. Um, and he doesn't perform um, there. So you'll be taking Richarlison's goals and assists out and not replacing them with somebody with likewise statistics and numbers. Um, also, I think he wants to go to Ajax. I think the whole, he'll stay in England if the deal drags is, if it doesn't happen, I'll stay. But he clearly doesn't want to. Um, and he's probably not keen on play on coming to us either. I'm not here, you know, not that every player we sign has to be, I love Everton Football Club, but it does help if they want to come to you and not just on the attitude of, well, if I have to come to them, I'll go to them, but I don't really want to go to them. Because that will only add more um, trouble um, up down the line. Um, and it's just, it's not good if a player doesn't want to be there. Next, we have some news on the takeover. Um, we have the, the Kaminsky family are bankrolling the takeover bid for Everton and are aiming to have reached an agreement by the time the club um, arrive in their hometown of Minneapolis on July the 21st. That came from Matt Law of the Daily Telegraph again. Um, Matt Law also went on to say an outlined price is, a, is in excess of 500 million uh, has been agreed in principle for the sale of Everton to Peter Kenyon led uh, American consortium. The Kaminsky family hopes to complete and uh, take over on the 21st of July. Um, Matt Law also says the consortium have promised there will be funds made available within the financial fair play guidelines for Frank Lampard to spend and are keen to push the takeover through in time to have a proper run at the transfer window. Um, finally, I think this is on Matt Law. Everton are viewed as a flagship acquisition for the Kaminsky family, and they plan to make a portfolio of sports clubs, media rights, and entertainment businesses under the recently founded Cam Sport LLC organization. So a lot to break down there, isn't there? Um, yeah. Um, firstly, it's good that they want the deal done quickly, um, as quickly as they can anyway. The quicker it's done, the quicker we have a chance at the transfer window, which is what they've said, and that is good news. Um, I don't think anyone will disagree that if it's going to happen, it needs to happen quickly. Um, 500 million in excess of. So for the amount Mashiri spent since coming in, he's going to sell the club uh, for, um, which is absolutely mental. Um, yeah, I, I don't know if it's normal for new owners to do this before they've even bought the club. Um, but going on the media to say, you know, about FFP and that they're going to push it through um, so they can have a crack at the window is very, very odd. It's not common practice for owners to do this at all. But they are American. And in the past, American owners tend to be a bit more um, unusual, unique. Um, so in saying that, um, yeah, it's not normal. Um, I agree with what they're saying. It does need to be done quickly so we can have a proper go at it. I'm not disagreeing with that. It just is a bit strange that they'd go into the media before the deal's even done. This is very much Vita Pereira going on Sky before uh, to give his Everton interview-esque vibes. Um, then we finally, it's that we're going to be their flagship acquisition and their portfolio of sports clubs, media rights, and entertainment. So basically, we're going to be their biggest toy, um, which is good. Hopefully, that means we get the more attention. I know a lot of Americans do this. Um, for instance, Liverpool's owners, um, I believe, own, I think it's the Red Sox, uh, Fulham's owner, Tony Khan, 
uh, the Khan family, his son, Tony Khan owns, I think it's the Panthers or the Jaguars. My NFL knowledge isn't brilliant, um, but he also owns AEW, um, which is all elite wrestling. Um, and I believe Cronky, Arsenal's owner, owns another team. So it isn't unusual for an American owner to own more than one sports team, normally one here and one in their home country of the US of A. Um, the media rights and entertainment business, I have a feeling that we'll see a lot more of them. The media rights and entertainments will be covering a lot of us. I don't know what they are yet, but I'm sure we'll see them around Goodison, well, Goodison Park slash Bramley Moor. Um, I have no doubt about that. Hopefully it still means Bramley Moor is going ahead. I think it will. I think if we're their main flagship acquisition, what better way to show that than have a beautiful Riverside Stadium um, slash complex so that'll be really good to see. Um, the stadium is one of the things I think fans are desperate to happen regardless of what happens. Um, I think it's been a long time coming for us. Um, so, yeah, I, interesting. I mean, none of it's surprising because they're American and this isn't, you know, this isn't uncommon for them. Um, I will say this. I know a lot of people get excited because it's the end of five this year. He's, um, Rain, um, not I was going to say rain of terror, but it's not a rain of terror, it's just a rain of inad, inad, um, inadequacies uh, and a, a, just a rain of mistakes. Um, like, uh, I want to say ignorance, he just he just doesn't know how to run a football club. I saw someone say fair play to him, he's tried and he, he has put his hand in his pocket um, and we can't fall for that. It's just a shame he has to get involved so much. Um, I will say this though, be careful what you wish for. We don't know what this Kaminsky family are like as owners. I know uh, two weeks ago, it might be now, I mentioned their political and the ethical side, and a lot of you were like, it doesn't matter, which is your opinion. It matters to me. It doesn't matter to you. That's your opinion. That's fine. But the football side matters to you. We don't know what American owners are like, um, or these American owners, sorry, some aren't what, what all they're made out to be, especially when they own more than one club. I see plenty of Liverpool fans, ironically, for all the, all the um, you know, all the success they brag on about, um, very much against their owners because of money, because he's putting money in the Red Sox as well. Their argument, I've seen a lot of them say their argument is if he didn't have the Red Sox, it'd be more for Liverpool Football Club. Fulham fans do it a lot, quite rightly, because Tony Khan does transfers and I, he's not equipped for that. Um, but he's also got money elsewhere. Um, the glaziers get a lot of stick. American owners are very, very Arsenal aren't fan of the um, Arsenal fans aren't fans of the Cronkies. Um, so be careful what you wish for. I'm not saying this will go wrong, and I'm not hope. I'm hoping it goes well. Jesus, we are due some good times, um, as Ken Wright would put it. We are due some good times, but um, just be a little bit wary. Um, I know we're, none of us are impressed with Majiri, but. Um, Let's not go heaping on that this is our our saviour um, because we don't know what they're like yet. They could end up being another circus. Um, hopefully, like I said, hopefully they're not. We are due some good times at Everton Football Club, surely. Um, now we have the reported news that Everton target Keane Lewis Potter is close to signing for Brentford. That has come from um, Baz Cooper, a Hull City correspondent for the Hull Daily Mail. Unfortunate, um, unfortunate, but uh, as we're currently messing about with takeovers and the selling of Richarlison, et cetera, et cetera, it looks like we are going to miss out on him. I truly believe the club have put all their eggs in Dennis, um, Manuel Dennis, which I don't mind because he's played in the Premier League and has similar stats to Richarlison. Um, Lewis Potter would be good. Um, yeah, there's no doubt about it, but... Um, yeah, it's just one of them, isn't it, guys? It's the, uh, you know, the old saying, there's no point to crying over spilt milk. It is annoying, but it, it, what can you do? You can't can't rush the club any more than, you you know, than, well, not that they're trying, but any more than we want them to. Um, we also have some contract news, uh, and that is that Liam Everton under-21's midfielder, Liam Higgins, has signed his first professional contract, agreeing a one-year contract until the end of June 2023. This comes after Eli Campbell as well, signed his the other day. Good news. Hopefully, another lad that pushes on now. If it's only a year, I'd expect that the club are expecting him to push on a bit more this year, and then... If he does, they'll renew it again next year, etc. Clever business from the club, because if he doesn't, then it's fine. 
you know, we're not left with a Luke Garbutt. We can just move on. So brilliant by the club there, fair play. Um, and finally, we have the Everton have announced that they will face Blackpool Football Club in a pre-season friendly at Bloomfield Road on Sunday the 24th of July, kickoff at 3 p.m. Uh, you can also buy your tickets now, I think for an adult, it's about £15. It's not awful. It's not awful to go see um, Everton versus uh, Blackpool. Um, I've got a couple of friends who are Blackpool fans, um, so it should be quite interesting. Um, hopefully make a little bit more signings. You see a run out of a couple of new players by then. It's a great chance as well for people who might not have season tickets um, or a Lancashire-based Everton fans or just struggle, yeah, struggle to go to some of the games to go. Um, you know, um, they're cheaper than Premier League games as well. So it's all good to see. I, I, I don't mind the friendly and I think um, Blackpool um, are, a nice, are a nice club. Like I said, I've got, good, I've got a couple of friends to support them. So uh, should be should be interesting, shouldn't it? Well, that's all I've got time for. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and comment down below your thoughts on anything I've discussed from the Richarlison Tottenham saga to the takeover saga to losing out on um, Lewis Potter. I know a lot of people were really, really vying for that transfer. Um, yeah, just let me know all your thoughts and feelings down below, and I'll see you guys very soon.